are the identical twins who married identical twins. There's some genetic trickery going on here because when this mirrored set goes on to have kids, they'll be cousins, but if you looked at their DNA, they're siblings. That's because these children's parents will have almost or exactly the same genetic structures, so the only thing that can produce differences between them is the random assortments of genes that happens when a new child is born. That's because aside from a few exceptions like Down syndrome, we all have 46 chromosomes of which we receive 23 from our mother and 23 from our father. But that means to make a sperm or an egg, we need to cut out quite literally half our DNA and which half we cut changes with every single cell that we make. That isn't just a fun fact for parties though, it's important for people like fertility specialists to be able to select the right sperm that will continue the lineage. Did you know this?